This After Effects tutorial is made possible by ArtBeatsExpress.com. Create a free ArtBeats Express account today and receive free high quality broadcast resolution stock media content. Content includes footages, images, After Effects templates, sound effects and more. Click the link in the description below. Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from thepotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects quick tip video. In today's quick tip, I'm going to show you guys how to create this really simple and cool looking text type on effect into After Effects. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial and get started. Alright, so let's create a new composition 1920 into 1080 and let's make this maybe 30 frames and 10 seconds should be good enough and hit ok so first of all i'm gonna go and create my text so you can type in anything that you want so i'm just gonna type in something like let's say start typing and let's just align this into the center like so let's make this white text is set now let's go and create a mat for our text so i'm gonna select my rectangle tool and draw a shape like so we don't need the stroke so I'm gonna just bring this down to zero and change the fill to white and hit ok so let's just first of all rename this pretty quick to matte so it's gonna be a matte for our text then I'm gonna go into my rectangular properties of the matte and I'm gonna bring down the opacity a bit low so we can see what's happening and let's just align this in the center like so so this is gonna be our matte for the text so let's hide this thing for now and um, Let's create the blinking bar that we see when typing the text. So let's go and create a new shape layer and draw something like that. Then let's just rename this to let's say something like text bar. And then I'm going to go into the rectangle part 1, unlink the size and change the width to 5 pixels and the height to 100 pixels. Then I select the rectangle and let's just align this in the center like we did for the previous shape. And then I'm gonna select the layer head and hit P to you know bring down the position properties and drag this right over there. Then I'm gonna go to let's say one second and create a keyframe by hitting on the stopwatch and go to two seconds and ten frames and drag this like so. So it's gonna come from left to right like so pretty simple then I'm gonna go in the beginning of the composition and let's hit T to bring down the opacity and let's create a keyframe for the opacity go to five frames forward in time and bring the opacity down to zero we go five frames more that is the 10 frame and bring this down to 100 and do the same thing a couple more times like so you can basically copy paste it if you want to but you know it's doing this manually so bring this up like so then I'm gonna select layer and hit U so we can see all the keyframes select the opacity keyframes hold alt and drag this like so so that they get distributed evenly and then I'm gonna select the keyframes for the opacity go to right over there and hit ctrl V to paste them up let's delete this keyframe we don't need that and now we should have something like that really simple really easy and now what we need to do is and make sure the mat overlaps the text bar like so so you can see right over here and then we need to parent that mat to the text bar so it moves along with the text bar like so this is gonna make the text reveal so I'm gonna change the text track mat to alpha inverted and right off the bat we're gonna get something like that really simple and really easy and quick so now you can go ahead and add a search tab by selecting the rounded rectangle and drawing something like that just bring this down below and rename this let's call this search maybe and go to rectangular path one properties and let's just increase the roundness to 100 
So we get this really nice rounded edges. And let's let's make the text black so we can see it. And the bar black as well. Maybe we need to increase the size of the search tab. So I'm gonna go into size and let's unlink this and let's just drag it some something like that, somewhere like that, and something like that. So yep, it's that simple and that easy to create this type of effects and you know, I hope this video was helpful to you guys and if it was, don't forget to subscribe, comment and like and I'll see you in my next video. Till then, take care and thank you so much and don't forget to stay raw, stay creative. Mm -hmm.